This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. When the rainbow touches the horse, it should turn into a unicorn. Let me restart this. Oh, right. It doesn't work yet. Okay. Do this. Add code that changes the horse's sprite appearance into a unicorn when the rainbow touches it. Deal. All right. So what do they have for us? They gave us our horse variable and a horse animation setting it. We have the rainbow. Okay. And okay. Do we in the animation tab? Oh, there's our friend the unicorn. All righty. So we need to change the horse into a unicorn when these are touching. Well, what have we been using this whole time? This is touching. And remember, we can use conditional. We can use an if to check when it's true. So I'm right here going to say if and if what? Well, if, boom, sprite is touching target. What sprite? The horse, right? We want to know if the horse is touching the rainbow or vice versa, right? This would work too if the rainbow was touching the horse. If you, uh, that's saying the same thing, right? So if the rainbow hits the horse, if the rainbow's touching the horse, what do we wanna do? We need it to be a unicorn. Now you might be tempted to add a new variable up here, call it unicorn. That's more work than we need to do. We can just change the picture of what the horse is. So it would be weird to have it named horse still, but it is a horse still, it's just changing over to the unicorn. So let me do set animation here, and I'm gonna say horse, we're just gonna change your picture to a unicorn. Now let me double check here. Add code that changes the horse sprite into a unicorn when the rainbow touches it. So I guess it stays as that unicorn. <laughs> Love it. Awesome. Onward with our friend the unicorn.